Hello and welcome to another Redline demo. Um, today I want to go through, uh, well, jump on the bandwagon really. May 2020 came out uh, yesterday. Um, there's a big podcast showing all the new features, particularly some of the animation features. Um, and one of those was this bookmark, the idea of being able to bookmark things within May on the timeline. Um, now recently we've um, changed some of the export systems that we've got within Redline. Um, and within the Redline exporter, which is our export manager for outputting to game engine, uh, and to our 9 anim and play blasting etc. Um, recently we added the ability to put colours in. So if I right click on one of these export loops I can set a colour and osh, there we go, set the colour in the UI. Now these are effectively just nodes. This is just, uh, we have an export node, we have an export loop node, the export loop node is past the exporter to say that's the data going when export it. And it kind of made sense that when 2020 came out with these, bookmarks are a node. So all we've done is we've uh, propagated this data down to bookmark. So I can now go right click, create bookmark, and you'll see the bookmark drops in. The time ranges are the same, the warps, the, the name is the same. If we hover over it, you can see the little warp there. Um, and these are synced. So now, once that's now made, any changes to the exporter will be reflected in the time range. And I can carry on setting these. I can say those two, for example, we'll set those to yellow. Oops, it's off screen, done. They didn't show up because they haven't got bookmarks created. I'm not, at, currently we're not making them by default. You have to actually physically say, no, you are a bookmark. If there's no color created and we right click and go create, you'll see it's a gray bar. And that's basically because we didn't want to hog the time range too much unless you physically set the color of these things. Um, and they're, they're live and in sync. So if I, this one's what idle new, which is that one there. Uh, if I'm going to call that uh, new idle. Now that only refreshes when I hit enter because uh, we don't want it doing it all the time but that is then synced you can see and everything syncs and it's just a nice way of, of visually representing what you've got set for output and if we do the whole lot there we go um, that's it um, just wanted to kind of go through um, the first implementation of stuff that we've put for 2020 um, if you've got any questions by all means ping us thanks very much